Madam Chancellor, Carlton graduates and guests, it is my pleasure and privilege to introduce our honorary doctoral recipient, Vikas Swarup. Vika Swarup is a novelist and former diplomat. He joined the Indian Foreign Service in 1986 and served in diplomatic assignments in Ankara, Washington, D.C., Addis Ababa, London, and Pretoria. Most recently, he was Consul General in Osaka, Kobe from 2009 to 2013, Indian's Foreign Office spokesman from 2015 to 2017, India's High Commissioner to Canada from 2017 to 2019, and the Secretary West in the Ministry of External Affairs from 2019 to 2021. Swarup is also the author of three best-selling novels, Q&A, which was adapted as the multiple Oscar-winning Slumdong Millionaire, Six Suspects, adapted as The Great Indian Murder on Disney Hulu, and The Accidental Apprentice. His books have been translated into 47 languages. Swarup has been a jury member for the 2011 Man Asian Literary Prize and the 33rd Cairo International Film Festival. He has written for numerous prestigious international publications such as Time, Newsweek, The Guardian, The Telegraph, The Financial Times, DNA, Outlook, and Liberation. He has also hosted Diplomatic Dispatch, a popular weekly program on foreign affairs for India's parliamentary channel. Swarup is a recipient of honorary doctorates from the University of South Africa in Pretoria, from Concordia University in Montreal, and the University of Guelph. Madam Chancellor, in recognition of a distinguished career as both a high-ranking diplomat and award-winning author of fiction, I request that you confer the degree of Doctor of Laws, Honoris Causa, upon Vikas Swara. With pleasure. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors and upon the recommendation of the University Senate, I confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Laws, Honoris Causa. My dear friend, it is such a delight to congratulate you. Madam Chancellor, Mr. President, members of the faculty, distinguished guests, graduates, and your excellencies. It is a delight to return to beautiful Ottawa, the city where my wife Aparna and I spent three wonderful years. And an even bigger delight to return to Carleton, Canada's capital university. This is a university which we have always claimed as our own, with its dedicated Canada-India Center for Excellence and the inspiring statue of Mahatma Gandhi. Today, by conferring this extraordinary honor on me, you have claimed me as one of your own, for which I shall always be grateful. I'm also very grateful to all my friends who have turned up on this beautiful summer morning to share this moment with me. We have with us the Ambassador of Germany, Senator Peter Beam. We have the Can Canada's Chief of Protocol, the Deputy High Commissioner of India, and leaders of the Indian community. Thank you so much for being here this morning. When the President first informed me of the university's decision to recognize my work as a diplomat and as a writer, I was not only humbled and honored, I was also very quick to accept because let's face it, in the very near future, 
It will be artificial intelligence algorithms, which will be doing conflict resolution and mediation, and chat GPT and BARD, which will be writing novels and screenplays. And I suspect some of your exam papers too. But there is one thing which AI can never replicate, and that is human empathy. That radiant light that emanates from the deepest recesses of our souls, connecting us in ways that transcend logic and formulas. It is this profound ability to empathize, to share, and to connect that unites us as humans. And nothing fosters that ability more than a degree in the liberal arts. And that is why it is fitting that I should be speaking to the students of the Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences. In a rapidly changing and interconnected world, the value of a liberal arts education has never been more important because it fosters interdisciplinary thinking and critical analysis. It nurtures our capacity for effective communication and collaboration. It provides the foundation that empowers us to adapt, innovate, and navigate the uncharted waters of the future. As you step out into the world armed with your new degrees, I would like to offer you four pieces of advice which can hopefully guide you through the challenges, successes, and moments of self-discovery that lie ahead. First and foremost, I would urge you to never lose the spirit of curiosity. For it is through curiosity that we challenge the boundaries of what is known, seek answers to the most profound questions, and unlock the door to innovation. My own journey as a diplomat and as a writer was greatly enriched by my sense of curiosity. It led me to the bowels of the earth inside a uranium mine in Saskatchewan. It took me on a fascinating trip to Tibet, to Lake Mansarovar and Mount Kailash. It brought me to the Cape of Good Hope, the southernmost point in Africa, and to the mid-Atlantic region Iceland, marking the separation point of Europe and the Americas. It led me to Noah's tomb in Turkey and to chasing the northern lights in Yellowknife. And it was that same sense of curiosity wondering about the answer to the perennial question of what if that led me to try my hand at fiction and create my debut novel Q&A, which ultimately became Slumdog Millionaire, the film. So stay curious and remain lifelong learners, for it will propel you towards personal growth, professional success, and a life filled with purpose. Second, embrace the power of diversity. Now, I come from the most diverse country on the planet, which has 23 official languages, all the world's races and religions, and 300 different ways of cooking the potato. For Canada also, diversity is not merely a buzzword. It is a fundamental principle that lies at the heart of its vibrant multicultural society. Embracing diversity means actively seeking out alternative viewpoints, engaging in dialogue with those who differ from us, and realizing that the beauty of humanity lies in its kaleidoscope of differences. In our pursuit of knowledge and success, we must also remember that the true measure of our achievements lies not solely in our personal gain, but in the positive impact we can have on the lives of others. So let compassion be your compass. It is through compassion that we uplift those in need extend a helping hand to the vulnerable, and work towards a more just and inclusive society. Finally, always, always defend the truth. We find ourselves in a post-truth era where falsehoods and distortions spread like wildfire, and where the line between fact and fiction has been blurred. In such a world, it is all too easy to succumb to the waves of misinformation and let cynicism and apathy take hold. Now, more than ever, we need individuals who are unwavering in their commitment to the pursuit of truth. For only then can we restore the foundations of trust, create a more informed society, and hold those in power accountable. In your pursuit of truth, do not underestimate the power of your voices. As graduates of the arts, you possess a unique advantage, a set of critical thinking skills, a foundation in research and analysis, and a unique ability to shape narratives, challenge the status quo, and amplify marginalized voices. 
So let your voices be heard, let your actions inspire, and let your passion ignite positive change, guided by Carleton University's enduring ethos of here for good. Thank you.